the shady side of Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams lives for gossip. The radio DJ turned talk show host always says it like she means it and is undoubtedly the queen of spilling the tea. But while Williams' outspoken commentary makes for great entertainment and ratings for the Wendy Williams show, it has often sparked heated feuds, hurt feelings, backlash, and seemingly endless controversy. Don't believe us. Here are some of her shadiest moments. Her confusing take on Terry Crews' sexual assault claims. When Harvey Weinstein's sexual assault scandal broke in October 2017, Terry Crews claimed that he had been sexually assaulted by talent agent Adam Bennett in 2016. The Brooklyn 9 star was lauded by many for sharing his story and for filing the report with the Los Angeles Police Department, but Williams seemed less than impressed, and her confusing comments stirred up controversy. When asked on her show if she thought Cruz was courageous for breaking his silence, Williams said, No, it's not brave he's just talking. But it may have a really negative effect on his career. Do you know what I mean? Being all black and being all chatty, it will, in my opinion, affect his career. I'm glad that Terry came forward to expose him, she added. Unfortunately, I feel that in the race war that's going on in this country still we don't want to acknowledge it but still, Terry will suffer. But good for you, Terry. And shame on you, bald man. Her all yaw biopic sparked major backlash. Williams served as executive producer of the successful Lifetime biopic, All Yon, The Princess of R&B but the film was made against the wishes of the late singer's family and longtime collaborators. Following the movie's 2014 release, former producer Kim Land led a social media backlash against the project. I thought it was a joke. But evidently it wasn't, Tim Land said during an interview with Hot 97 as he broke in the morning via MTV. I'm very upset about it. You're showing a mockery on TV. The rapper said the are you that somebody singer's family felt the same way. For the first time, I think everybody was all in agreement on everything when it came to baby girl with this bio it wasn't done right, he said. It was just done wrong. Williams' reaction to the criticism essentially amounted to number signs or not sorry. I see my all yon movie broke the internet this weekend, she said on her talk show via MTV. Everybody's got an opinion. Well, I must tell you, whether you love or hate, you watched. It was the second highest rated movie on all of cable this year, so far. She spread a horrible rumor about Tupac Shakur. William seemingly has no qualms about spreading rumors, but one of the worst tales the shock jock Tate ever promoted emerged on her Hot 97 radio show when she insinuated that legendary rapper 2PAC real name Tupac Shakur was raped in jail in the 90s. 2PAC wasn't pleased. I got a beef with Wendy Williams saying I got raped in jail because that E-I-F-R-E-S-P-E-C-T-E-E-D me, my family and what I represent, he told Angie Martinez of Hot 97 via Billboard. He later retaliated against Williams via his music. On why you turn on me, 2PAC to took aim at Williams' weight, spitting, I'll put Jenny Craig on your fat asterisk SS slash why you always wearing spandex. The musical this one of many Williams has received over the course of her career was apparently no skin off her nose. Without those song mentions, I might not be on TV right now, she told The Hollywood Reporter in 2012. There is a large segment who may have never heard about me on the radio but they heard Tupac tell me I needed to go to Jenny Craig. Or Mariah Carey tell me that I'm all up in her business. So I love them for that. She riled feminists with her take on leaked celebrity nudes. To say that Williams didn't have the most feminist take on the massive 2014 celebrity nude photo hackings may be putting it lightly. The talk show host took on the scandal following Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence's emotional interview with Vanity Fair. I didn't tell you that you could look at my naked body. The Hunger Games star told the magazine following the leak. It's my body, and it should be my choice, and the fact that it is not my choice is absolutely disgusting. Williams' response. Um, it's not your choice, it's in the cloud and I've looked several times, so I guess I'm disgusting for looking. She quipped on the Wendy Williams show. Clap if you've looked at Jennifer Lawrence's hacking pictures, she asked her audience. Clap if you're lying because you really did look. Williams and directed her monologue at the actress. I mean, you're the one who took the pictures, she said, adding that if Lawrence would just stop talking about the cloud and the naked pictures, the problem would go away. Besides, Jen, 
You don't look bad under your clothes and I think the happylation has actually made your career even hotter, William said. Cause she was red hot before but now it's like heat seeking missile hot. So hold your head up with pride. She mocked Paris Jackson's racial identity. One of William's longest running feuds is with the Jackson family, but things came to a head in 2017 when she criticized Paris Jackson's racial identity. In January 2017, an 18-year-old Paris told Rolling Stone, Michael Jackson is my father. He will always be my father. I consider myself black. Williams took issue with that. I get that she considers herself black and everything, but I'm just talking about the visual, the talk show host said on her show. Because you know black is not what you call yourself, it's what the copes see when they got steel to your neck on the turnpike. But that's cute. And good for her. Jackson fired back on Twitter. She seems to think about the family a lot considering she makes all these claims about us. Why are we on her mind so often? She implied that Kim's old Shaq Beerman faked a stroke. One of the Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kim's old Shaq Beerman suffered a mini stroke in 2015, Williams cast doubts on the legitimacy of the health scare. She allegedly suffered a mini stroke after returning home from Dancing with the Stars last week, Williams said on her show via People. Now Kim is 37 years old and, you know, she's got six children. She looks terrific, you know, and by the way, the reality show it cute. But, Kim, my thought is, um, I hope you're not fibbing about the stroke. She continued, Kim, at 37 years old, if you did have a mini stroke, I'm sorry to hear about that. If, however, you just wanted to get off dancing with the stars, all you had to do was just stub your toes. Old Shaq Beardman quickly took to social media to blast Williams' comments. Absolutely appalling. At Wendy Williams how disgusting for you to insinuate I faked my mini stroke on your show this morning. The reality star wrote on Instagram. You meant cause I didn't come on your show. This clearly shows your warped mentality. She aired Method Man's personal business. Fair warning, this one is just heartbreaking. In 2006, Williams announced live on air that Method Man's wife had cancer. She did so not only without their permission, but before they even had the chance to tell their family and friends. The rapper recalled that moment, telling Holly Pop, when Dee gets on the air and said, his wife is sick and she not doing too well, and I'm like this f asterisk asterisk king b asterisk 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 cage man. He went on, this is the big C for cancer. I was ready. I was so mad. I was crying right there and I'm like, I'm gonna kill some f asterisk asterisk king body and these Wu-Tang Clan friends kept me in there, kept me in L. 8. Williams also insinuated that the I'll be there for you rapper, who later asked her in an online video, had an affair with his wife's doctor. She said me and the doctor was f asterisk asterisk king. What kind of s asterisk asterisk t is that, man? He said. You don't do that to nobody. You say me f asterisk asterisk k you want to say about me, say nothing about my family, man. She pestered Whitney Houston about drug use. One of Williams' most infamous feuds was with none other than Whitney Houston. When she invited the singer onto her radio show in 2003, she repeatedly asked the diva about her alleged drug use, which led to an unforgettable honor confrontation. If these were back in the day in Newark, I'd meet you outside. The Federal Up Houston warned the host during the heated exchange. Houston never quite let go of that grudge. The How Will I Know singer was reportedly among a number of A-list celebs of color who have refused to guest on Williams' TV show. When Dee isn't that far removed from her days of bashing black Hollywoods who's who on her radio show, and people have long memories, an insider told the New York Daily News. Producers are begging the biggest stars in the business to come on the show, but they're getting turned down flat. She attempted to out several male celebs. In the 90s, Williams became notorious for alleging that various male celebrities, including the likes of Tyler Perry, LL Cool J, and Usher, were gay. She'd do so live on air and without any proof. Karma eventually caught up with the radio DJ when she decided to talk about Sean P. Diddy Combs' sexuality. According to VH1, the Bad Boys for Life rapper retaliated by getting her kicked off the air. In 2017, Combs and Williams ended their nearly 20-year feud when he appeared as a guest on the Wendy Williams show. I know I pissed a lot of people off, 
including you? William said, as Combs nodded in agreement to be a bet. But this is a full circle moment. Everybody, get into adult conversation. She has a history of transphobia. Williams has a long history of making transphobic comments about transgender celebrities. In 2014, she drew a fire for misgendering Chisbono during a conversation about trans athlete Coy Johnson, who filed a lawsuit after the CrossFit Games refused to let her compete in the women's division. This is an unfair advantage, Williams said on the Wendy Williams show via The Advocate. You can't take away female or male parts or whatever it's like Chisbono. You know, Chis is a man now. But I bet she still fights like a girl like the rest of us, and she's not as strong as a man who was born a man. Following the swift backlash from the LGBTQ community, Williams apologized. Didn't mean to offend when discussing transgender topic, she tweeted. I'm a long LGBT ally and HELAAV supporter and will use this to be better educated on the T. She sparked outrage again in 2015 after insinuating that Caitlyn Jenner wasn't a woman. While discussing a Cosmopolitan magazine cover that featured all the Kardashian women, Williams told her studio audience via People No, not Caitlyn. Caitlyn still has a member. I mean, until you don't aren't you caught in limbo? Williams may want to visit GLAAB's Tips for Allies of Transgender People page before she decides to tackle trans issues again. She insulted Beyonce's intelligence. Yes, Williams has even gone after the Queen well, Queen Bay, that is. While we realize not everyone is a fan of Beyonce those people are wrong, by the way Williams ruffled feathers when she trash-talked the end of time singer in one of her more memorable Hot Topics segments in 2012. After sharing the preview of Beyonce's HBO documentary, Life is But a Dream, the talk show host questioned the singer's intelligence. I am a Beyonce fan, Williams began via E. News. I'm going to be watching this documentary even if she doesn't introduce us to new stuff. I'm watching because fortunately one of the TVs in our kitchen has closed captioning, so I'll be able to understand what she says. At this point, her studio audience began to boot. You know Beyonce can't talk. Beyonce sounds like she has a fifth grade education. She can't talk. Her contentious commentary on historically black colleges Williams' controversial take on Grey's Anatomy star Jesse Williams' powerful pro-black speech at the BET Awards in 2016 drew significant backlash. His speech was very poignant, Williams said on her show via BET. On the other hand, I would be really offended if there was a school that was known as a historically white college. We have historically black colleges. What if there was the National Organization for White People, only? There's the NAACP. Even her boring studio audience grew silent. Look, everybody's quiet. You're leaving me out here to dry by myself. She quipped. National speeches like this will always rub people the wrong way just like white people will be offended because Spelman College is a historically black college for women. You might feel funny about that. I know I'd feel funny. Needless to say, Williams was subsequently hammered on Twitter. And the Wendy Williams show even lost one of its major sponsors when Chevy chose to walk away from an endorsement deal. In the wake of the fallout, the talk show host reportedly fired three of her show's producers as scapegoats. She was skeptical of Kesha's case against Drive. Luke. In February 2016, the court ruled that Kesha, who was nearing the end of her harrowing legal battle with Drive. Luke, was still contractually tied to the producer-slash-songwriter despite her allegations of sexual assault and physical and emotional abuse. Unfortunately business is business, and it sounds like it's fair, William said on her show via Jezebel. If everybody complained because somebody allegedly sexually abused them contracts would be broken all the time, Kesha's no spring chicken. I mean she's like 30 years old. So she wasn't stupid 10 years ago and neither was her mother when the sexual abuse alleged sexual abuse started. Why weren't there rolling camera on it? Williams later backed down on her controversial position sort of. Kesha, I want to a apologize to you and be you're a hell of a woman, she said via Jezebel. Remember the day we were talking about that story and I said, well, there's two sides to every story and you all were like well, wait Wendy, when a woman says rape, you better believe it's rape. Well, no, you know what, unfortunately a lot of people lied about rape so I was just being skeptical, that's what I do. I wasn't sure but I'm also woman enough to say damn Kesha, I apologize.
I don't think a lot of women could rise to the occasion the way you did Kesha, you keep going. She but you shamed Ariana Grande? There are tons of celebrities who can't stand Ariana Grande, but even her biggest critics would probably agree that Williams' bizarre body shaming rant in 2015 took things too far. She's 21. She'll forever look 12, Williams told her audience via E! News. And I don't mean that in a good way. It's nice to look younger than you are, but when you look too young and then you're short she only like 4'11 I don't look at her as, like, a woman. Grand's loyal fan base swiftly launched the hashtag number sign cancel Vendy Williams, which began trending on Twitter. Given her history of stirring the pot, we're guessing this won't be the only time this hashtag comes in handy.